All right, if the directions say to factor, then there's something you always want to do first. You always factor out the GCF first. Now, if you remember, the GCF is the greatest common factor. This is always what you want to do first. Okay, I'm going to give a short, two short examples on how to factor out the GCF. The first one we'll start with will be 5A plus 10B. Okay, when you're looking at something like this, you have to think, okay, what is the GCF? If we look at 5 and 10, the GCF, the greatest common factor, is 5. Then we look at the variables. The first term variable is A, the second term variable is B. They don't share any variables, so our final GCF is 5. We open up parentheses, and remember that factor is like division. So when you're saying factor out of 5, you're really dividing out the 5 from 5a. So if I had 5a and I divided 5, I would be left with a. All right, plus. We'll bring down the plus sign. Then we're dividing 10b divided by 5. Well, since 10 divided by 5 is 2, and we have b left. All right, this is your answer. We have successfully factored out the GCF. One way you can check your work when you're factoring out the GCF is to go back through and distribute your answer. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite my answer. 5 times 5, A plus 2B. If I were to distribute the 5 to the A, I would be left with 5A. And if I were to distribute the 5, to 2b, meaning multiply. When I say distribute, I mean multiply. 5 times 2b, that would be 10b. And we can see here that we get exactly what we started with. Another short example of factoring is going to be a little bit more complicated. And so we're going to have 2x squared y squared plus 4xy cubed minus 6xy. And so in looking for the GCF on this, there's three terms, so I have to look at all three terms, the 2, the 4, and the 6. The GCF, or the greatest common factor of 2, 4, and 6, is 2. That's the largest number that divides out of 2, 4, and 6. If there is no number, then you would put a 1 here, or you could actually not write the 1, and you could skip that part. All right, now what we need to do is we need to look at our variables. If you notice, all three terms have an x. And so even though the first term has x squared, they all three have an x. That's part of my GCF. I could not write x squared because they don't all have an x squared. That's the C part, the common part of greatest common factor. All right, now we're going to look at the Y values. We have a Y squared, a Y cubed, and just a Y. What do they at least all have? They all have a Y. So then you open up parentheses. Remember, we're dividing 2XY out of each term. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. We could write the 1 or we could leave it off. I'm going to leave it off. If I take out or factor out an x from x squared, I'm still left with one of the x's. If I factor out a y from y squared, I'm left with one of the y's. That's successfully factoring out from the first term. Okay, bring down your plus. Now divide 4 divided by 2. That's 2. I factored out the one and only x, so I'm not going to write an x here in the middle. Okay, now. I need to factor out y from y cubed. That's going to be y squared. Notice that the exponent on y was 3. I factored out one of the y's. That means I'm left with two of them. Okay, last term, minus. 6 divided by 2, that's 3. And notice that here I have an x and a y. Since I factored out the x and the y, that's all I have. This is our answer, and like the last one, we can easily check it by multiplying through. So I'm going to rewrite 2xy, xy plus 2y squared minus 3, 
and I'm going to distribute or multiply. 2xy times xy would be 2, x times x would be x squared, y times y would be y squared. Okay, next term. 2xy times 2y squared, all right? 2 times 2, that's 4. x, it's the only x, so I write it. y times y squared is y cubed. And then the last, 2xy times negative 3 is negative 6xy. If you notice, this is exactly what I started with. So one way of thinking about factoring is backwards distributing. Distributing is what we learned before. We're factoring that's just like backwards distributing or dividing out a term.